Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 8 of Ocean Oakley. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Oh Nobody else ain't gonna talk about her eyes or anything. Y'all just like, yeah, this is normal. <laughs> right?
Mm, damn, it's over there. Both. Of course, she's going to get jealous. She already is. Excuse me. I mean, damn, at least go home and go change. What if the police come up to you and be like, hey, yo, why aren't you at school? <laughs> right? Especially since you're in uniforms. Seriously? Right? I mean, at least you're kind of having fun. sure about that though Go on, speak your mind. <laughs> what? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I love how she's just in that moment like, yes, bitch, I still kind of have a chance. It's so pretty right there. I missed my baby. <laughs> See, you say that, but I feel like something, it, it, it's going to evolve between you two. Oh, damn. If baby didn't feel something, shit, I know she did. <laughs> Damn, you calling her a whore? <laughs> yeah, you know, some of us might might want to be a workaholic, and you know, instead of having a boyfriend, we want to have everything else: success, money, lots and lots of money. <laughs>
Gotcha. So what, because of that, you're not going to tell him anything on I? Like, do we date? Do we not date? Exactly. Yep, be honest with her. Excuse me. And besides, you know, some people don't want their information all out on TV. Yeah, because it does make you wonder, what is she going to do after this? Because she just does YouTube and TikTok. <laughs> I'm 
Okay. Ten bucks, bruh. Hundred bucks, bruh. Ask her. That's not a joke in face, but he's being serious. Now, my biggest thing is since we now have our fucking trio, when the fuck? <laughs> because we, we're on episode eight, but we're on episode nine. We have three more weeks before this show is over. And see, the, the, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and fucking say this. In my opinion, 11, no, 10 and 11 need to be like together in one episode. Since the first episode was an hour long, let the end of season one also be an hour long, and then that's going to be hard for me because <laughs> I got to do it in the parts. But still, I would love for it to be an hour long. Now, the situation of Aqua and Akane and being like, oh, okay, we should just date for, you know, platonic work. That's it. But like I said, something tells me one of them, like truly, because it, it, Aqua's already caught feels, but he did that mainly for show. But something also tells me in that moment, he did catch, like, actual feelings. Like, even in that kiss, yes, that kiss was for fucking show, but Akane caught some feels on that, too. Come on, now. Like, you can't tell me that this guy you've been interacting with, this guy literally saved you from doing the one act that, once again, I think no one should really do and brought her back. Like, seriously. You you want to be with him. I want you to be with him. But at the same time, I'm still also thinking about the situations on what Aqua is trying to do. Because eventually I feel like somebody's going to catch on onto the shit that Aqua is doing. And he, he she, whoever it is, um, might use things against him. For an example, Akane, his sister Ruby, and her group, Strawberry Productions as a whole, anyone who Aqua will eventually be close to from the end of this season going into season two will all be vulnerable as fuck. And it will be a situation where, yes, no matter where the fuck you go, you're always watching your back. Think about any, any tragedy that has happened in pop culture, whether it's here in America, here in Japan, uh, in Japan, here in Japan, <laughs> I ain't in Japan, Disha. in Japan, anywhere, just think of any pop culture celebrity like moment where it's gotten really, really bad to maybe where like authorities have been involved. Like, okay, for an example, I cannot believe I'm about to go into this again. Vanderpump freaking rules in this situation on the cheating scandal and such. Or what the fact is because one girl allegedly said to another girl that she punched her, but in the in the end she pushed her. We all know she pushed the bitch because she's pissed at her, not punched her and stuff, and so now she wants to drop everything off and everything. Um, or like we can talk about Bachelor, Bachelorette, anything. When something comes out, like, okay, I, I love the fact is that with this show and the reality show part that they were doing with the couple portion did give me like hella feels towards Bachelor and Bachelorette or any sort of dating show because it's always funny as someone who does watch the more of The Bachelorette than The Bachelor because I, I get bored by the guys because I just do. I feel like some of their stories are not the greatest. Um, whoever, and I'll say for both, whoever is the final pick for each show, either or, or we can even say Paradise, I don't fucking know, 
Um, the biggest thing is like, let's say the bachelor, the bachelorette ends up kissing someone else and whoever is their final pick sitting there watching them doing all these things. The bachelor, the bachelorette always has to apologize about, oh, hey, sorry, I did this. Sorry, I did that. But there was one season of the bachelorette where one of the girls was like, I'm not sorry for doing any of this shit. Um, and so people really turned on her. I remember like articles and tweets being very negative because it's like at the same, and I cannot believe I'm going to say this too, because one article had the nerve to say this. They're like, well, you know, little kids are watching this. And I said, hold up, wait, wait, wait. Little kids should not be watching this type of show because of that. Like, especially if you're like seven or eight or nine or even 10, like if you're a preteen, I would not suggest watching it because you're giving these little girls thinking like, or these boys saying, oh, it's okay. But even at the same time now in our day and age, people watching that are saying like, oh, it's okay to go out and date like multiple people at once. And it's to have that fantasy of being with multiple people at the same freaking time and such and not getting um, consequence on it. And this is that a third. Or saying that going on this is going to make everything okay and such. And so, I mean, as someone who still watches those shows, like, yes, there are some good things about it. We always have a couple where, once again, I'll even be, I'll be honest about this shit too. Um, we always place bets on how the couple, how long the couple is going to last and such. And I do also like the fact that they put a nod on this thing. Like, yeah, couples have still been together and some of them even have gone married gotten married because of it and so everyone's like oh okay well maybe i want to go on this show because 50 out of 50 i can get like a marriage with someone sometimes it doesn't even work out like that sometimes after you are with that person once the cameras are off and you know it's just you and him and or her and you're seeing this different side of them and you're like well were you really like this like the whole entire time like bro okay well you know what Maybe we shouldn't be together. But I think the stars are really going to align in a really good positive outlook for both Akane and Aqua. Um, I'm about to say May. <laughs> Nemi, I think that's how you say her name. Um, I think she's going to be a great asset to the new idol group and such. I just, I want to hear a song before the show is over. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> give me a fucking song at least i mean idol master has given me my songs and everything i love that but still i want to know <laughs> please and thank you but other than that guys that's my reaction view towards episode eight of osho no Koi. if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also I, that made no sense what the hell did i say like that <laughs> also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the bachelor squad and I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 9. Bye guys!